drinking, banana eating, vitamin C slurping, the one and only Adam Josh. Good morning everyone. Welcome to the Morning Banana Show. This is, these are the facts. I am your host, Adam Josh. That is what my mom and Amy. I'm going to check the live streams real quick. First song we listened to there was a Czech song by PBUH. Peace be upon him. The uh, it was a band that I was in, and that was your boy singing, or if you want to call that singing. <coughs> I was actually singing uh, the lyrics, the song lyrics to my song Sayonara, which is a slow, a very slow melodic song off of uh, a slow acoustic song off of the Songs About Home album. That I recorded in 2004. So, yeah, fun fact. The lyrics for that song goes, But I'm still here, cluck, cluck, click, making myself sad, making myself sick. Same lyrics as the song Sayonara on my 2004 album. I thought that was funny when I did it. Well, welcome. Welcome to the Morning Banana Show. It's um, minus 20 out. January 24th. My seven year anniversary with Desiree is tomorrow. Seven good years. We're thinking about firing up Le Chef again. Le Chef is a restaurant that our kids run and manage. And, um... They uh, they kick up this restaurant. They 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 do a pop up for us every special occasion. Very few things on the menu. I'm thinking about going to Le Chef for the for our anniversary. We did that we did that last year. It was a lot of fun. You might go somewhere, you know, but we go to Le Chef, and Le Chef comes to us. So, yeah, it's Monday. Um, I've changed my hours at the Rush Check Shop. So, because the season is technically, like, over, I'm doing Monday to Friday, 9 to 5, except with Friday, I'm closing a little bit early so I can clean the shop, so I say 9 to 3. Monday to Friday, 9 to 3. Which makes sense to me. So I'm here, Monday to Friday. For now, um, I'm doing my 270th rust check today. You know, I was aiming for 300, so what are the odds that 30 are going to come between now and the end of the month? Not very likely, so relying on the <laughs> relying on the February customers, if there are any. Like, the, the season sputters out the end of, actually mid-January is when the season is over. So here, we're like kicking a, not kicking a dead horse, but it, the season was over mid-January. So, uh, my dad has decided to keep me here so far, so, you know, every day is a blessing when you're working for a parental business who's a Muslim. Just every day... You just should be thankful that you are alive and working. On that note, I went to, uh, so much stuff is going on, right? I went to our um, uh, restaurant number four and restaurant number three in Brantford because they had some issues with the deep fryers. And as some of you guys know, I am a deep fryer magician, a deep fryer whisperer. So, if you follow me on Twitter, you'll know that I was able to repair the problems pretty easily. One was a 2.5 hour job, the other one was a 2 hour job. So, you know, in Brantford isn't that, it's not like, I have to drive to get there and drive to get home. So, it, it added up. What else can I tell you guys who watch the Morning Banana Show? 
you guys know that I've been working on uh, a little bit, helping a little bit, not a lot. I'm not doing a lot of, I'm not doing really any of this. I've, I've helped a little bit with some things here and there, but restaurant five and six. I don't know if you can see my screen uh, on the on the live stream. You can on the live stream. You can't see my screen, and on the recording, you can. Okay, well, on my screen over here is some pictures. I can show you videos of the inside of the place. So my uh, my adopted dad has asked me to stop sharing everything all the time. January 23rd, I was there. Robbins construction site update. Uh, what looks to be Restaurant 5 construction update. They got all the plumbing done, doing the electrical, the plumbing roughed over. I mean, you know, you've seen me, if you followed me for any amount of time, you've seen me build, uh, I don't know, four restaurants. So five and six shouldn't be a big surprise. Um, yeah. What else can I tell you? That's kind of exciting. I don't know, like, um, opening up uh, an ice cream place is kind of exciting. Opening up another Popeyes, or another... You know, I don't go into the, the restaurants, the chicken restaurants, unless I'm asked to, unless there's something broken. As a vegan, <laughs> you know, I'm not... I'm not eating there. I used to joke and say, I could eat at Popeye's every day for the rest of my life for free. And I still don't do it. Imagine that. Some of you watching this, like, he could eat at Popeye's every day for free and he doesn't do it? Yeah. Then, thems are some facts. So I'm in Canada, and we're in, um, I'm in Niagara. I don't know where you're watching from, but let me tell you something that's going on here. The Canadian government has waffled back and forth between um, vaccine mandates for truckers coming back into Canada from America or foreign truckers coming into Canada, which seemed to make sense on its face. You're like... We want the healthy truckers to come in, okay? So if you're Canadian, you won't be denied entry, but if you're a foreigner coming in, you should have the minimum required dose, or what the CDC is now saying, up to date. This is their new verbiage, because you'll never be fully vaccinated, as I told you since day zero. Nobody listens to me until 10 years later, and then they're like, oh man, you were right, but who cares? So, I'm used to it. I told you guys all this, who follow my Twitter account, who follow these Morning Banana Shows. I laid it all out in these Morning Banana Shows. I wasn't just talking to myself. But, uh, you know, now you guys are seeing what I was talking about in the earlier Morning Banana Shows when this thing kicked off. So... Uh, and I'm not some genius. I guess I am a genius. You know, in a room full of blind people, the one-eyed man is king. Speaking of that, have you seen Burger King's Be Cursed rollout ad ad campaign that they're doing? Their new marketing campaign? Imagine how stupid you are to, to go to a restaurant where they're literally cursing you and you're paying to be cursed. Words aren't just things, like words are spells. This says coffee all over the side of the cup in different languages because this is coffee. <laughs> if on the side of this cup it says, we curse you, be cursed, you are a curse, you are, you are, um, you are hexed. You are... We wish you bad luck. You think I would be drinking out of this cup every day? I would throw it out or smash it. So... And, ironically enough, the parent company, RBI, Restaurant Brands International, is the same parent company that owns Popeyes and... Northern Steakhouse and Tim Hortons. 
And their stock has not been doing that great. What, $67 a share? I wouldn't buy their stock. Professionally speaking, I wouldn't buy their stock. But people like the restaurants, people like the food. There's no questioning that people like eating at Popeyes, people eat at McDonald's, people like eat at Burger King, go, people go to Tim Hortons. No doubt about it. Not knocking them. Even though as a vegan for the last eight years, I don't see it as the future. I don't see eating meat as the future. Eating dead animals as the future, I should say. But, you know, the rest of you have to catch up. What was I saying about the truckers? Truckers. So, they decided to band together and start a Truckers for Freedom rally. Starting in Salmon Arm, British Columbia, British Columbia, which is above California if you're looking at it from a map. The far west. Take, <clears throat> take the Highway 1, Trans Canada Highway, all the way to Ottawa. Going through all the provinces, going through Alberta, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, Ontario, Northern Ontario. I don't think they'll be dipping into Quebec, but possibly for a quick, quick loop around, not my orange. Oh man. Yep, hang that. Anyway. <clears throat> so what I'm saying about all this stuff, uh, they have a hashtag on Twitter and on Instagram, and I don't know about Facebook because I don't use it, but it's hashtag truckers for freedom. Let's check that hashtag real quick while you while you're standing there on the phone. While you're standing there waiting for me on the phone, or you guys are just standing there watching this right on the phone. Uh, truckers, yeah. That, if you type in the hashtag, it comes up. Truckers for freedom on Twitter. Yeah, lots of crowd support for the truckers for freedom in Atchison, Alberta, en route to Ottawa. So it's a huge, huge movement. And by the way. I am supportive of this movement, just to be clear. Um, I was joking last night on Twitter being like, all right, the Crystal Beth provinces are joining. <laughs> I can say that because I lived out west. All these places that they're talking about the truckers are being, I've either been there or lived there. So, like, I'm a Canadian guy who's traveled Canada. Cottage in PEI, family in BC, best friends in Alberta. Like, I've lived all over, lived in Saskatchewan on a native reserve. Um, not a huge fan of Manitoba uh, when I was there, but, uh, you know, I've been to Manitoba many times. As a musician, I had traveled around quite a lot, you know, playing shows and just hanging out and going back and forth, so. Um, I'm a Canadian, <laughs> a traveled Canadian. And anyway, so I was joking, like, the crystal meth provinces are joining. <laughs> Watch out. Can <laughs> you imagine? But anyway, I'm just joking around. Um, it's a huge thing. All these people are supporting the truckers saying, like, no, we're not doing this vaccine. No more vaccine passports. No more masking laws. You know, people are waving flags and supporting them showing the Canada in distress flag and uh, you know Canada is in distress and I had I had the Canadian flag upside down on my Twitter profile two years ago nobody cared you know and uh, people are catching on now all these years later that hey this is a big deal I've been talking about this on, on the morning banana show um, that for like two years now basically it doesn't get any better <laughs> until we like you can't you can't play patty cake with tyranny, with medical tyranny. So, you know what I mean? I feel like this whole thing could be very well uh, hijacked and taken over like the January 6th organic protest was, which was later infiltrated by uh, FBI agents that looked like, you know what I mean, cool bros with their... <laughs> with their exact shades on, exact same khakis on, showed up January 6th around the Capitol. <clears throat> undercover cops dealing drugs to other undercover cops in your private business, 
then getting busted by the undercover cop who's buying drugs from the other undercover under, undercover cop can get your business shut down. I've seen it, and it's a sad, it's a sad thing. But there's corruption in police. There's corruption in the government. And if some government entity right now in, in Ottawa is preparing for these truckers to show up in uh, around the parliament uh, in about six days then uh, they're going to have some contingency plans for what's going to happen because obviously truckers showing up in Ottawa, which is where they're going, and they're going to arrive there in about six days. I've traveled across country. I know how long it's going to take them to get there, about six days. This weekend, they should be arriving. It's going to cause <coughs> huge traffic jam, obviously. And then the question is, the question is, Justin Trudeau and the Liberal government, were they? did they seriously not think that this would happen? Did they seriously not think that uh, there would be a protest from the truckers when they passed these uh, new laws. Obviously, they knew that the truckers would protest. So I'm thinking, like, how far ahead have the li has the Liberal government in Ottawa planned for this? Because they, they must have known. You know, it's not like they're like, oh, why are they protesting? We don't know why. It's so unpredictable. So I'm not saying that the truckers are playing into their hand. They are voicing their grievances, and it's a huge parade, basically, all the way down to Ottawa. And I'm just, you know, I'm over, I'm always cautious. I I uh, I want to be as cautious as I can. Hopefully optimistic. I hope that none of these guys get violent because, like, you know, <coughs> the wrong trucker starts getting violent. They have a, imagine this, here's a scenario, blacked out truck, random John Smith guy gets out of the truck and starts shooting up a cap, the Capitol building and they say, oh, these truckers, yeah, this is the, yeah, tru the truckers were racist actually, and just like Justin Trudeau said, they're racist, misogynist, and the trucker got out, he shot up the Capitol, and he beat his wife on the way out of the truck. This is why we had to call in the National Guard, we had to call in... You know, they started plowing over the trucks and clearing the roads. They had caused a civil emergency. We need Chinese troops on the on the ground immediately. I wonder who the government would, would contact first, the Chinese or the British. Because, you know, we're a British colony, so... If the Queen would want to get involved with her British troops, or if the Liberal government would be like, our best friends China can help us with their military. Who knows? I know that uh, this is a big deal. If you're not into Canadian politics, this weekend will be the time to pay attention to it. Uh, because I know where these people are coming from, like literally and figuratively. And this is this is uh, this is going to be something this weekend. I'll tell you that, and I don't say I don't say these things lightly. So we'll see. Anyway, thank you for watching the morning banana show. I am going to uh, go do cold brown. And uh, as always, have a great day. Take care of yourselves. Follow me on Twitter at adamjosh.com. If you like what you see, you know, support me on Patreon, thumbs up this video, add a like, subscribe to my five YouTube channels, send e-transfers of money to Adam at AdamJosh.com. You can buy stickers from me, or flat earth stickers even, on my website. You could <coughs> financially support me by clicking the link at the top of my Twitter profile page that somehow winds up back to me. Uh, I, nobody's done it yet, so I wouldn't know. All right, guys. Take care. I'm going to click off now. Bye-bye. I can...